Good evening, guys. How are you? Let's see, Carla, good evening. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. I am fine. How was your day? Good day. A good day? Cool, I like that attitude, it's nice. Not difficult for you today? No. That's nice, that's nice. And let's see, well, oh, today is Thursday, yeah, right. Tomorrow's Friday. What are your plans for this weekend, Carla? Perdón, teacher, no le... Vale. What are your plans for this weekend? Go to the shopping. I going. I go to the shopping. Oh, really? You're going to go shopping? Yes. That's nice. Okay, guys, let me just check something. Eh, probemos micrófono. Eh, escuchen este, por favor. Y... Ahora este, ¿cuál se escucha mejor? The first or the second? Otra vez hablo con el primero. Okay, this is the first one. And this is the second one. Which one is better? Los dos escuchan bien. Okay, perfect, perfect. Thank you very much, Carla. Fausto, good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Great, excellent, excellent. How was your day, Fausto? Uh, my day is uh, heavy. Heavy day? I think we're having a little bit yeah. of problems with connection. Oh yeah, now I can hear you. Yeah, that's the way many orders. You work with orders, no? Purchase orders. Yes. And every day you have to do the same. Every day. Wow. Every day and prepare and check. Wow, that must be stressful a little bit. That must be, must be, debe ser. That must be stressful. I think Fausto's having problems with the connection. Okay, don't worry, Fausto, we will talk later. Don't worry, don't worry. Mariela, good evening, how are you? Okay. <laughs> Um, I am sick. You're sick? Yes. Where are you, Mariela? You're not home today. I don't see little cats. I, I'm in a clinic. clinic. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Thank you. Well, yeah, I understand. It's difficult. Yes. So, oh, what are your symptoms? You got a headache? Yes, uh, I have fever. Oh my gosh. I sore. have fever. Sore? Uh, yes. A sore cough. Too? Ouch. Perhaps it's the flu. It could yes. be the flu. Yeah. But nowadays, nowadays, hoy en día, <coughs> nowadays, that means hoy en día, we must be careful. Yeah. So, Mariela, no speaking for you tonight, okay? You just listen. Thank you. Let's see. Thank you very much, Mariela. Andrea. You're welcome. What are you doing? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. You doing better? Huh? Getting better. Okay, okay. My question was this. Look, are you doing better? In this context, in este contexto significa se siente mejor. Are you doing better? Getting better. Okay, that's great, that's great. Uh, let me see. 
Just let me check something. Somebody's reporting problems with internet, but I don't know who's that. Eliane is having problems with internet. Let's see. Just let me do something. Okay, perfect. Well, that's good. Cool. That's good. Cool. And thank you, Andrea. What about you, Alonso? How are you doing today? Good evening. You doing better? No, I'm not. Uh, difficult. Uh, yes. That illness is difficult and it takes time. We mm -hmm. must be patient. Okay, thank you. Are you taking the pills? Yes. Following all the protocols? Yes. Okay, so let's hope everything goes okay. So thank you. The same as Mariela in your case. Today, take it easy, okay? Relax, don't worry, don't worry. Thank you. Don't worry, guys. Okay, let's see. Walter, hello, Walter, how are you? Um, hello, teacher, good evening. Uh, very well. Excellent, great. How was your day? Uh, and they, they relax. Relax? Cool. Yes. And tell me, Walter, what are your plans for this Weekend. Mariela um, tells me that she's going shopping. What about you? Week, uh, weekends and play soccer. Okay, you play soccer. Mm. Me cerras la puerta, Alejo. I drink beer. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. With me. Oh, no, no. No. Uh, and week, uh, relax. Uh, uh, unhappy family. Okay. My wife, my son. How, uh, tranquility. How, how old is your son? Repeat, teacher. How old is your son? Your son, your boy. How old? Um. Uh, ten. 10 years old, oh. 10 years old. He's big already. Oh, yes. Nice, that's nice, that's nice. So you play soccer with your son? Uh, very, very well. My son very well soccer play. Oh, really? And do, yeah. you, do you play with your son? Uh, yes. Okay. Remember, if I ask you, do you play soccer with your son? In this case, your answer should be, yes, I do. Okay? Okay. Okay, sure. teacher. As it is a short answer, is yes, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you very much, Walter. You're welcome, teacher. So let's see. Oh, there's Grecia. Hello, Grecia. How are you? Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, Grecia. Tell me, are you going shopping? No. No? You're not going to go shopping? No. Really? <laughs> no, really. I don't believe you. <laughs> it's a true. Of, a lot of people is excited because of tomorrow. And today is Thanksgiving, right? Yeah, today is Thanksgiving. Yes. So happy Thanksgiving. Oh, time to you. What about the turkey? Where's the turkey? Oh. Okay, you say it like this. Look, I ate it already. I ate it already. I ate it oh, already. I ate it already. Already. With I, my family. Oh, that's cool. I ate it already. Yes. Or you can say, I already eat it. 
ate, I already ate it with my family. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Do you, like, your, do you like turkey? In your house, to my mom. Oh, no, no. listen, listen. In, in the my... house, to my mom. Ah, yes. Because in, in the house. You can say it that way, uh, or you can say in my mother's house, or you can say at my mom's. That's an um, informal expression. You can say at my mom's. You see? At my mom's. Mm -hmm. When at you say mom's. at my mom's, you're saying at my mother's house, but it's informal. Okay? Okay. That's an informal way to say okay. it. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. So okay. do you really do you really like yes. turkey, Gracia? Yes. Oh, really? Really turkey. I really yes, like Yes, delicious. Oh, that's cool. I really like. Okay, and now look at me. Turkey. Turkey. I really like turkey. Perfect. Remember, in this case, you pronounce it as a as a no. It's rounder. So you say turkey, turkey. Okay, turkey. I really like turkey. Uh, in my turkey. Case, in my case, I don't like, I like turkey, but mm, <laughs> not that much. I mean, just the meat, just the meat. I don't like the, the, to be dealing with bones and everything. Uh -uh. What about, uh, let's see what is typical with uh, turkey in this date. Uh, mashed potatoes. Do you like mashed potatoes? Do you like mashed potatoes? Potatoes. Mm, I don't know, mashed potatoes. Uh, that's a uh, 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 puree? Oh, yes, I like. You like it? I like mashed potatoes, yes. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. What else is typical for this? Let's see, let's see. Uh, well, corn, corn, yellow corn. It's typical. Mashed potato, a big salad. Let's see, what else? What else? Oh, oh cornbread. Bread is also typical. Cornbread. Cornbread. Yeah, a lot of a lot of people like cornbread for these dates. Cornbread means uh pan de maize. Okay. It tastes nice. Well, thank you, Grecia. Yeah. You're welcome, mister. This conversation got me starving. <laughs> yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Francisco, hello, good evening. How are you, mister? I'm sorry, Francisco. Again, at the beginning of the class, I don't listen to you. Let's try it later on, okay? Don't worry, don't worry. Take it easy. I know that this is like, this is common happens in this class. This is common happens. Happens. This is this happens regularly. Okay, let's see who else is here. Felicita, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How are you, Felicita? Very good. Very good. Perfect. Tell me, do you have plans for tomorrow, Black Friday? Mm, no. <laughs> no. You're not going to go shopping? Um, no. Oh. No. Eh, quiero decirle que ya hice las compras. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Remember, guys, you can use this word already. That word already means yeah. Ah, okay. okay. I already. Already. I already did the shopping. I already did the shopping. Or the you can, shopping. or you can put, you can place the word already at the end. I did the shopping already. I didn't. I didn't. Shopping. I did. I did. The I did. Shopping. I did shopping. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Was were there a lot of products? on sale where there are a lot of products on sale on sale means 
en oferta. En oferta. Were there a lot of products? Habían muchos productos on sale? Mm, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's mm. nice, that's nice. Mi, y, y, me, y mi, mi, menos people, menos gente. Oh, less people. Oh, that's nice, that's nice. Yeah, because that's one of the things that I don't like of Black Friday. Less, less peop, people. I mean, here I have gone just once, one time. And I didn't go again. Traffic is terrible. That yeah. I mean, tomorrow's traffic is terrible. I remember going to the mall. I remember that I went to the mall. I was driving and it took me like in the mall, it took me like one hour just to find a parking space. Yeah. Just to park. I mean, it's incredible. Horrible. Eh, I, I mucho, like mucho conglomerado, ¿cómo se dice? Uh, well, uh, crowded. <laughs> okay. You can say no, it like no, no visit, no, no visit, eh, eh, it no is, sé, la, las tiendas. In, it is crowded. It is crowded. Uh, it, it is cr crowded. Yeah, crowded in, means a lot of people. Many people. A lot of people. In, in Black Friday, yeah. no, no I, lie. No, I don't like that. Too many people. My problem is that if I am in the middle of too many people, I get anxious. Me da ansiedad. If I yeah. am in the yeah. middle of too many people, I mean, I get desperate. Yeah. I, I feel like with difficulty uh, for breathing, okay? I feel like, it's, it really stressed me to be in the middle of a lot of people. So that's why Black Friday for me is no good. It's no good. Well, Igual. thank you. No thank good. you, Felicita. You're thank welcome. You. Helen, hello, Helen. How are you? Hello. How are you, teacher? I am just fine. What about you, Helen? Oh, really? Really? Uh, regular? Regular. That's nice. That's nice. So, tired. You must be tired today. Is, is, como pesado? Heavy? Oh, really? So, today was a heavy day for you. Don't be a pesado. Really? Okay, don't worry, don't worry. Yes. Today in the class we are going to, well, we are going to do many activities, but they are going to be easy, don't worry. Vamos a hacer muchas actividades, pero son fáciles. Okay, let's see. Carlos. Okay. Hello, Carlos. How are you? Tired. Tired? <laughs> okay, Carlos, yeah. But, well, at least you are not like yesterday. It was the day before yesterday that you were like down. Yes, uh, yesterday I cannot uh, connect it. Uh, now I went to a warehouse of airport. Oh, really? Yes, uh, I, I check uh, shipping. Shipping. Okay. Uh, you check a shipment. Shipment. Shipment, sorry. Shipment. I check a shipment. All days is terrible in April because tomorrow uh, they don't work. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Thank yes. you. Yeah. That's no, good. no, the patronal holidays of San Luis Talpa. For real? Yes. Then uh, tomorrow they don't will work. They, uh, they will not work. They will not work. Now, listen, listen, Carlos. You can say they will not work in this expression when you say will not. Okay, just hold on, give me a second. Will not can be contracted as want. So you can say they won't work. Uh, they won't work tomorrow. Okay. 
Perfect. Well, actually, there's a better expression for this, but this is a class of uh, the last unit. Unit four, we are going to work with this, okay? With this type of future. In unit four, we are going to work with that because actually it will be more, more appropriate to say they aren't gonna work, they're gonna, they aren't gonna work tomorrow. But don't worry, that's for next week, next week. So relax, relax. Okay. So what's the name of your company, Carlos? Because I hear that you go to, to the airport like regularly. Yes, uh, uh, the name of my company. Yeah. ABX. Oh, really? ABX. ABX yeah. industries. So you go to the airport to get shipments of raw material then? Raw material. So you got to get raw material. Yeah. Yeah, yeah because you work with uh, capacitors and, well, electronic components, yes. right? Electronic components. Yeah. Material for electronic components, exactly. So you have to deal with uh, stellation. Yes. And let's see what else. Oh. Tantalium. 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 Helium. Argon. Hey, you gotta be careful with that. Uh, you in, have to be careful with that. Yes. Because of the, you must be careful because of the fumes. The fumes, they are toxic. Yes. There's oh. ma many products of the, of the plant are uh, toxic for the health of the environment. For the envir environment. Uh, environment, sorry. So for your company was not that big problem to adapt to the new protocols. Uh, because your company already had, the company ya tenía, uh, protocols of like wearing masks and stuff like that? Yes. Oh. Yes. Because the, the enterprise is regulated by the Ministry of the Medio Ambiente. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, because due food. to the components. Due to the yeah. components and the materials, well, the, the chemics you work with. Yes. Due, yes. due to, due to, Look at that expression, guys. Due to. Thank you, Carlos. Okay. Due to. Debido a. But if you say due on, or if we talk about the due date, that's like, uh, let me see. Look. You got two different expressions with you. Well, thank you, Carlos. Thank you, thank you. Noemi, hello, Noemi, how are you? I cannot hear you. Hello, Noemi. Hello, teacher. How are you tonight? Fine. Oh, that's great, that's great. Uh, Noemi yesterday was like yelling all at the stadium. <laughs> yes. No. Um, working. Working. Uh, that's no fun. Así no divertido. <laughs> Así. Solo little time. Yeah, yeah. I can understand you. Remember, in this case, I just told you that's not fun. Okay, that's yes. not fun. Okay. okay, now, sometimes, sometimes you are going to hear this expression, guys. That ain't fun. That ain't fun. This is ain't is very, very, very informal. Okay, mm -hmm. that ain't fun. I, I mean, uh, I use it. I use it, but that expression means is not, okay? But is very informal, but 
some people use it. So it's good that you know it. That ain't fun. Yeah, I know. It's not fun when, when you are working. Thank you, Noemi. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, no problem. No problem. No problem. I understand, Noemi. Well, guys, let's see. Everybody report. Yes. I'm sorry, guys. I need to take the attendance. So let's do it fast and let's do it now. Okay, let's see, let's see. Fausto Antonio Landa Verde. Present. Mariel, Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Present. Mariela de Los Ángeles Alvarado Díaz. Present. Carla Colocho de Parada. Eliani Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Córdoba de Valencia. Present. Carlos Alberto Bautista Bonilla. Present. Yesenia de Lourdes Magaña Sandoval. Jorge Alexander Reyes López. Blanca Margarita Chávez Pérez. Felicita Cruz de Pereira. Present. Grecia Yulisa Pereira de Villegas. Present. Helen María Chávez Quintanilla. Present. Giovanni Vladimir Escamilla Gómez. Francisco Javier Villatoro Canales. Present. Alonso Antonio Turcios Brizuela. Present. Andrea Natalie Espinalo Mansor. Present. Wendy Azucena Pérez. Here, Pedro Antonio Hernández, here, and let me just check. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Just give me a second. I just need to check something on the attendance. Just a second, guys. I'm so sorry. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see if we see. Oh, perfect. Mm. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, guys, let's see. Today, today we are going to make a small of all the topics that we have covered all along the week. But first, we're going to start with an exercise. And this exercise is going to be a little bit fun. Okay, if you got your manual, please. In your manual, go to page number 27. As you can see here, we need to write about something you have to or need to do these days, okay? We need to answer these questions, when, what time and where okay i just need you to do to give me two sentences one we have to and one with need to okay remember one sentence with have to and one with need to but what i what i need you to do is to share those sentences with your classmates so we are going to be working impaired this is very easy because you know it we have worked with this already it's not going to be complex for you okay this image i sent it already to your group so you can check it out if you need it now remember this is what we are going to do you need to write one sentence with have to, one with need to, okay? And you are going to share it with your classmates. I'll give you an example, like, let's see. Uh, Grecia, hello, Grecia. You're gonna help me today. Hello, Grecia. Can you hear me? Hello, mister, yes. Okay, Grecia, tell me that you have to do? 
okay. answering these questions. Okay, look, look, let me just share with you. Okay, Grecia, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, right here. Okay, tell me, what is the activity uh, that you have to? Have to. Okay. Um, for example, you have to? I have to say I have to because you are giving me your information, okay? Oh, okay. I have to. I have to arrive on time okay. to classes. Okay, perfect. I have to arrive on time to classes. When? 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 Could be now? every day, no? It could be every yes. day. Yes. So I have to arrive. Every day. I have to arrive. What time? Okay, on time. You say on time. You cover this. Every day. I have day. to arrive on time. Where? To classes. I have to when? arrive. Every day. So you say here, arrive to classes on time every day. And you have the first one, have to. Then you are going to do the second one, need to. Okay? So if you notice, okay. we are going to structure a long sentence, a long sentence, and this sentence needs to answer the three questions. Okay? What you have to do or what you need to do, we are going to express. What is the activity? When is that activity going to be performed? What time? Okay. And the third question, where, donde? Okay. So we are going to be working in groups of three members each. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Hey, Jorge, good evening. Welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's do it like this. Okay, guys, the groups are created already. Let's see. Okay, yeah, perfect. Just let me check. I'm just checking the group. Okay. Perfect. Okay, guys. The groups are open. Please, let's show them the first activity of the night. Saturday at 11, tengo que pagar recibos, eh, recibos, and pay, I have to pay bill Saturday at 11, okay. tengo que pagar recibos, eh, día sábado, I have, I, I have to 11. pay, I have to pay bills, I, I have to pay have bills to pay Saturday bill. at 11, okay. Saturday. Saturday. at 11, Actually, Walter, you can say in the morning, and it's okay. Because you're, you're covering a period of time, if you say in the morning. Okay, in the morning. Yeah. Um, uh, 11. Uh, you, uh, I have... I have present document, financial document. I have a 
Tengo que presentar documentos al banco de. I have to present. I have to present. Present documents. Do, document. Financial. Oh, okay. O, o financial. 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 Um, a, en el banco. At the bank. What? At bank. Tomorrow. 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 Perfect. To, to, uh, tomorrow a las... It's working. Where? Teacher, this is the form? Okay, when? After his work, where? Yes, and what is the activity? Bring his, um, how do you say Barba? Bird? 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 Uh, bird. Okay, so. Bird. On the weekend, well, in the, on the weekend, yes, on the weekend, on the weekend. On the weekend. On the weekend. His, after his work at home. Where at home? After his work at the home. At home. Oh, perdón, no. Esto es at home. At home. Okay. Y, um, no, no se va a poner lo que se va a hacer, solo la... Well, in, you, can, in, you can write it, you can write it, lo puedo poner. Because I will ask you for the whole sentence. Sí, toda, okay. la pregunta, toda la oración. Okay. Mm -hmm. When you tell me, you are going to tell me the whole sentence. The idea is this, look. These questions are helping us to make longer sentences. Este tipo de preguntas nos están ayudando a hacer una oración, a construir una oración más grande. Okay? Okay. Because I have to shave my bird uh, on the weekend after work at home. A big sentence. Yeah. See? But the ideas are very simple. It's not difficult. No es tan complicado if we are answering the the sentences. The okay, lo podemos escribir acá, ¿no? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Pero ahí creo que era, no sé si es go, go. Ajá, es que no sé si es go o es go. Go. Yo creo que es go. No que le preguntamos. Go. Yeah, go. Go es tercera persona, ¿no? Ajá. Yes. Y, ajá, es que ser go. I need to go to my my house right now. Who needs to go home right now? You, Mariela? Me. You finish already at the clinic? No falta uno. No. Oh. No. So ah. You want to go home. Desea I'm, ir a casa. I'm, ¿cómo se dice? Esperando. I am waiting. I am waiting. Are you at the social security? Yeah. Are you at Seguro Social? I'm dying. I'm dying here. <laughs> at Seguro Social, it takes long, yeah. long, long. You must be patient. Yes. I, I don't have patience. I am not patient. I am not patient. Here. Yeah, I know, I understand, yeah, I understand. I'll be back, guys. Ya regreso. I want to cry. <laughs> I want to cry. I, I want to cry. cry. <coughs> you say it like this, look, I want... What the difference? What the difference? What is the difference? Uh, in what? Want and wanna. Okay, that's what I was going to... Explain you. Okay. okay. The sentence, if you see I there, I want to cry. Okay. I want one, to cry. two, one, okay. two, 
is pronounced wanna. Okay. I wanna cry. Like going to is pronounced. I'm gonna cry. You see? Okay. So I wanna cry. You are saying I want to cry. But when you speak, you pronounce it wanna. I wanna cry. Okay. I'll be back. Don't cry. No. Sí, es que creo que tiene que ser, por ejemplo, yo tengo que tener la suya o la de o la de Alonso. Por si me pregunta, tengo que decir la de my partner. partner. Yes, you have to have them all. Sí. So at the end you're going to have six. At the end you're going to have six. Yours, your two sentences and your classmates. So that's going to be six sentences in the end. Okay? Las dos suyas y las dos de sus compañeros. Okay. Es que estábamos haciendo tres cada uno. No, no, no. When, what time and where? It's just... No, look, the thing is this. Las preguntas, perdón, voy a explicarlo en español. Las preguntas nos sirven para construir la idea grande. ¿Ok? The idea is this. These questions are helping us to build up a longer sentence. Estas oraciones nos están ayudando, estas preguntas nos están ayudando a construir una oración más larga. Like, you say, well, okay, what is the activity? Like in my case, uh, okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Te, go teach a class. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have to go teach a class. When? On mm -hmm. Saturday. What time? Mm -hmm. In the morning. Where? In San Salvador. So, I have to go to teach a class on Saturday morning in San Salvador. Mm -hmm. So, si se da cuenta, al ir contestando las, pre las preguntas, Voy construyendo la oración grande. ¿Ok? That's the idea. Yeah. Ok. If you need any help, remember, you can call me up. Si necesitan ayuda, oh. pueden llamarme acá. Okay. Okay? I'll be back. Thanks. Ok, thank you. Y comencemos. Felicito. I have to. Present. Present financial document. Advanced. Tomorrow at 11 a.m. At 11 a.m. A.m. Siguiente. I have to go. I have to. I have. I have to. I, I have to go to the office. I have to, to go to the office. To at go to the office. A. E. M. Okay. Now, Felicita, look at me. Your sentence is perfect. Okay, it's perfect. Okay. When we are speaking. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to switch into Spanish for this. Cuando estamos hablando, si tengo una palabra que inicia o termina con T y ante y a continuación de ella hay una vocal, puedo pronunciar la, esa T como R. I have to, to go to the, to the office. I have to go to the office. Okay? To the I have office. to go okay. to the office. In this okay. case, okay. usually you say to the office or to well, to the, in this case, is to the office, okay? Yeah. I have to, to go. To the office. The thing is, I have to go. I, to I, have, to go. I have to go. I have to I go. have to go. I have to go to the office. I have to go to the office. Okay. Instead of saying, I have to go, you see, I have to go, I have to go to the office. I have to go, I have to go to the office. office. Perfect. Okay, At guys. A.M. I I have to go. Teacher. Okay, Fausto needs to. Needs to, because it's third person. Como está describiendo la tercera persona, needs to. 
So, en Jorge. Or has. Has. Yes. Ok. Pero yo digo, Javier yo digo, has que... to. Yes, cuando, yo quiero, cuando yo quiero decir es, I had to. Yes. Ok, look, uh, look, Jorge. Let me see. When you say, when you talk about I, you, we, or they, you use have. When you, when you talk about he, she, or it, you use has. Ok. okay. El en has este caso, utiliza como para soy yo. he, she, or it. You say, I este, have to. En este caso, como soy yo, es have. Yes, right. I have to. I have to make a meeting. Mm. I have to have a meeting. Or I have to prepare have a to? meeting. I have prepare to a meeting. have okay. or have a meeting. I don't know what you're going to do. ¿Qué es lo que va a hacer? ¿Tener la reunión Una... o estar en la reunión? No, estar en la reunión. Oh, I have to be in a meeting. In a eh, meeting. I have to be. Dos veces el verbo cero, sir. No, no, no. I have to be in a meeting. In a meeting. Perfect. ¿Sí? Yes, that's right. I have to be in a meeting. Okay. Okay. Now, there, there's another way to say it. I mean, this is okay. I have to be in a meeting. Or you can say, I have to attend a meeting. That's another way to say it. Otra manera de decirlo es attend. I have to be in a meeting. Or I have to attend a meeting. Okay? Attend is assist. In a meeting. Yeah. Perfect. You're almost done, right? Okay. I'll be back in a second. I'm just going to go check the other groups. Sí. What? <laughs> Ladies, tell me. Teacher siempre lleva el, siempre lleva el tú. O solamente cuando... To... O solo ah, cuando... No, cuando hablamos de tercera persona. Give me an example, please. No, por ejemplo, el, el decir el de otra persona. Lo que necesitas de otra persona. Yeah, she has to, she needs to. Ah, oh, ok. Y acuérdense, okay. cuando es tercera persona, has to. Uh -huh. Needs, yeah. needs to. Ok. Like we say, like, Mariela needs to rest. Mariela <laughs> necesita descansar. Please. Rest. So, Mariela, which hospital are you in? Uh, Sacamé. Oh, my God. I know. I used to go there. Is, um, ¿cómo se dice? Más cerca. Is the closest one. Okay, I'm going to text this phrase for you. It is the closest one for me. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> closest. Closest. Yeah, okay. it is the closest one. El más cercano. Oh my oh. gosh, I got Mariela sick. I got Andrea sick. I got Alonso sick. Wow. Carla sick. <laughs> no, Carla's not sick. Carla is Carla de hacer. Carla de hacer. Oh, sí. really? Yes. Yeah, I, we've been calling her and she doesn't answer. Um, no puede hablar. Oh, really? Yes, oh. está afónica. No puede hablar nada. Oh, that's no a se problem. Le escucha. Yeah, but she should connect at least to listen. Ella debería conectarse. Uh -huh. Esa tenía fiebre. Oh, my God. Mm. Yeah, that's bad, that's bad. So here, just Carla Marielos is thinking about shopping and long weekend <laughs> because Andrea is sick. She is like, uh. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll be back. Okay. 
On the Friday. On Friday? On Friday. Yes, on, on Friday. Friday. In the on afternoon. Friday? In the afternoon. Okay. Well, okay. Now, I'm sorry. In this case, uh, what is the activity? What is the whole activity? I need to clean the car. <sighs> okay, I need to clean the car on Friday's afternoon. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. Grecia, don't Thank tell me you are sick too. Everybody's sick in this group. No, no, es que es, es alergia. Es que no, it's es que, allergy. Me pasa que me da alergia, pero no es gripe. Okay. Ah, it's allergy. It's allergy. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, that happens Ay, to me. Yes. That happens to me with the wind. Con el viento me pasa. Uh, I start sneezing uh, and I sneeze. Yes. I sneeze like 10 times on a row. Just on okay. Continuous. Oh my god. Yeah, I get like mm -hmm. I sneeze a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Alonso, take okay. it easy. Okay, take it easy. Take it easy, mister. Don't worry, I'm not the pushing ball. you. Cancel. I understand. You. Mm -hmm. Take it easy. In your case, if you want just to listen, it's okay. In su caso, si quieres Thank escuchar, you. No I know, I know your situation is very different, okay? Okay, Don't thank worry, you. Alonso. Yeah, don't worry. Grecia and Helen are going to represent this group. Grecia and okay. Helen are going to represent the group. Don't worry. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. Helen is going to tell Alonso's okay. sentences and Grecia. And Grecia will take... No, Helen is going to, take, to tell me about Grecia. And Grecia is going to tell me about Helen and Alonso. <laughs> Activities. Okay. 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 <laughs> Entonces... Let's wait for everybody to come back. Let's see, there's Walter, Noemi, Felicita. Okay, almost everybody's coming back. Let's see. Okay, okay, okay. Hey guys, first off, I've been checking all the groups. And let me please congratulate you. You are doing very good sentences and long sentences. That's nice. Let's start right now with Helen. Helen, tell me about, uh, who were you going to tell me? About Grecia. Tell me about Grecia. Grecia. Yes. Grecia. Grecia has to celebrity. Celebrate. Uh, her has, husband birthday. Oh, nice. She has to celebrate. Celebrate her husband's celebrate birthday. Celebrate her husband's birthday. Um, um, Sunday all day uh, okay. in San Miguel. Oh, hot place. Mm. Okay, now tell me something that Grecia needs to. Or just that one, Helen? That's it? That's uh, it all for Grecia? 
Es que se la estaba diciendo en ese momento. Oh, ok, no problem, no problem, no problem. Ok, now, about Helen Alonso. Ok, Helen Alonso. Helen had to take your son my with son? the doctor dentist. Okay, look, my uh, son. No, she's her, son. <laughs> her son. Her son. Her son. To the dentist. Okay, to the dentist. her son. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. To the dentist. That's it, okay? To you don't need dentist? to say to the doctor. To the dentist. Okay, when? Mm. To the dentist. To the dentist. Saturday in the morning oh, in San Miguel City. Okay, nice. Interesting. Tell me more. Yes. And Alonso. Alonso need, need to buy Nils. food. Needs to buy food in the supermarket. Yes. Uh, in the Saturday in on, San Miguel. On Saturday. On Saturday. Mm. On Saturday. Okay. So let's see. Grecia, Alonso, Helen, you are from San Miguel? Wow. Got a lot of people from over there. Perfect. Yes. Very well done. Very well in done. The city. Thanks. <laughs> Excellent job, guys. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. In your case, Alonso, don't worry, okay? You can just be listening, perfect. Now, let's see. Francisco, tell me about your classmates. Okay. Uh, Fausto needs to train his verb. Let's see, Fausto, yeah. Oh, yeah, he needs to train his verb. When? <laughs> On the weekend. <laughs> Okay, what time? Um, what time? After his work. Okay, that means in the afternoon. And where? At home. Perfect. Himself. Thank you, thank you. Perfect. Fausto, okay. tell me about your classmate. About one of them. Uh, my partner, Jorge. Okay, tell me about Jorge. Jorge. Jorge has to take the car to the mechanic on on Saturday. Oh. Um, twelve o'clock. Okay. Marvin's. Perfect. When you tell me to the mechanic, you are telling me the place. You are telling me where. I'm sorry, Jorge. The mechanic is expensive, always. Yes. Okay, Jorge, tell me about your classmate. Give me one sentence, please. Francisco has to uh, be in a meeting. Okay. Uh, when uh, on the on the on Friday at nine. Uh, O'clock okay. at a city hall. Perfect. At a city hall, city hall. For uh, for the rest of you, remember, city hall means alcaldía. Okay. Perfect. Excellent. Excellent job, guys. Before I take the attendance, I still got time for one more right now, and that's going to be. Carla Marielos, tell me. Tell me about one of your classmates. My partner, Mariela. Okay, tell me about Mariela, I'm curious. Mariela needs to go, go her house right now. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Carla. Now, just remember, guys, when we say, when we talk about her, when we talk about she or he or it, we need to add the S to the verb need. Mariela needs 
to go. Okay? And remember, when we place a verb after to, the verb goes in the base form. Si ponemos un verbo después de to, el verbo va en su forma base. So, es to the need. So, needs to. Mariela needs to. Okay, thank you very much. Let's see, let's see. Mariela disconnected. Oh. Andrea. Okay. My partner is Carla. Um, Carla needs to go to dentist on Saturday in the morning. Okay, Saturday, Saturday morning. You can just say it like this. You don't say Saturday in the morning. We say Saturday morning. Saturday okay. morning. Perfect. To the dentist, I hate that. I hate going to the dentist. It's horrible. Well, for me, it's horrible. <laughs> Particularly when they start drilling. Oh, man, that's terrible. <laughs> I'm so sorry for you. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Carlos. Okay, in my case, Walter, for example, he has to pay bills Saturday at 11 a.m. Okay, uh, perfect. On Saturday. On Saturday. Noemi, she needs to decorate the Christmas tree Sunday. On Sunday. On ah. Sunday. Okay, listen, listen, listen. Listen, Carlos. Um, Felicita, she has present financial documents at 11 a.m. Perfect. Just, Carlos, I'm sorry. Just remember, Christmas. 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 Perfect. Thank you very much, Carlos. Okay. Noemi, tell me about Carlos. Carlos, uh, Carlos needs to go to the supermarket tomorrow at 6 p.m. At 6. At 6 p.m. <laughs> okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, Carlos has to go to your her friends ah. on Saturday afternoon. On Saturday, Saturday. Saturday afternoon. Afternoon. Okay. Carlos. Okay, give me more, give me more, give me more. No, it's okay. Carlos needs to go to shopping on Saturday afternoon. No, on Sunday afternoon. On, on Sunday afternoon. Okay. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Okay, just give me a second. Just give me a second. Give me a second. Felicity. Okay, please continue. Noemi, or that's it. Okay. Felicita has to go to the office tomorrow at 8 a.m. Okay. Uh, Felicita has to present financial document at bank tomorrow 11 a.m. At 11 a.m. Wow, she has a lot of work to do. Thank you very much, Noemi. Felicita, please tell me. Okay. Eh, para, ¿Para quién, teacher? Juan, solo dígame de uno. De uno. Uh, Mr. Carlos, I need to the supermarket tomorrow at 6 p.m. Okay, he needs to. Está hablando de él. He needs, he needs he need, to. He needs. Eh, Carlos has to, to go to my friend, my friend in Saturday or afternoon. Okay, Carlos has to to go to his friends. 
his. To his friend. To his friend. Perfect. Thank you very much, Felicita. Oh, yeah. Francisco. Francisco, yeah. you, you say your sentence already? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Who's missing? It, it is with, it is fast, Fausto and Jorge. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Somebody is missing. Yo sé que alguien me falta. Let's see, let's see. Uh, Walter. This Walter. Is... Okay, teacher. My parents, my parents. Este Noemi need to decorate the Christmas tree on Saturday. Okay. Noemi had to clean and house in Sunday tomorrow. Noemi, I need to check car tomorrow at 7 o'clock a.m. Okay, perfect. Look at the screen. Noemi has to, or do you say, she has to. Noemi needs to or she needs to. Because we are talking about the third person. Recordemos, estamos oh. hablando de la tercera persona. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I need to do again the attendance. It's 9 p.m. Wow, fast. So let's see. Fausto Antonio Landa Verde. Best day. Mariela de Los Angeles Alvarado. Oh, she's in, the, she's in the doctor right now. Carla Maria Los Guevara. Present. Carla Colocho. Uh, she's absent. Eliani Alejandra Nativin. She's absent. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Soy la Noemí Córdoba de Valencia. Present. Carlos Alberto Bautista Bonilla. Present. Yesenia de Lourdes Magaña Sandoval. Jorge Alexander Reyes López. Thank you. Blanca Marta Chávez Pérez. Felicita Cruz de Pereira. Ten. Grecia, Grecia Yulisa Pereira de Villegas. Present. Helen Maria Chávez Quintanilla. Present. Giovanni Vladimir Escamilla Gómez. Uh, Francisco Javier Villatoro Canales. Present. Alonso Antonio Turcios Brizuela. Present. Uh, Wendy Azucena Pérez Hernández. Absent. And Pedro Antonio Hernández. Absent. Okay. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Who, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> Can it be, can it oh, Andrea Natalie, yes, yes, you're right. So, Preston. Andrea Natalie, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, that's the problem of being that old. El problema es tan... Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. So, if you see, guys, we are using have to, need to, we are expressing obligation, right? But, we also need to review a little bit more. Necesitamos repasar un poquito más. Okay. Now, let's see. Do you, we have a question here that is very, very simple. In your manuals, again, in your manual, uh, Mr. Javier chair the manual in the group. In your manuals, you have on page number 28, we have these two questions. Do you mark your, your, here it's missing an R, do you mark your events in your calendar? Do you attend your events? Okay, do you mark your in your calendar? Do you use a calendar for checking all the activities for programming or scheduling your activities? Do you do it and do you fulfill those activities y hacemos esas actividades those two questions you are going to have two minutes to ask and answer working in pairs you are going to be working in pairs 
So I'm going to recreate the groups. Just two minutes, so we are going to go fast. Okay? Let me see. Okay, guys, two minutes. Hurry up. Just those two questions. Hello, teacher. Creo que no me fui a ningún grupo. Let's see, Helen. Yes, you left me. Uh, okay, let's see what happened to you. Okay, hold on. I will move you to this group. Ya la moví de grupo. Tiene que haber caído una invitación. Sí. No veo ninguna invitación. No me parece la ventanita. Ok, regreso en un momento, ok. Noemi, get out sí. of the get out of this group, go to the main room, and there you can do it with uh with Helen. Sálgase de aquí en el main room, está Helen. Work with her, trabaja con ella. Ok. ¿Y cómo me salgo? Okay, let me see. Mm. Mm. Tiene una esquinita, le dice room. And sin break room. Nope. If not, answer the questions. Si no contesten las preguntitas, y I will ask them directly to you in the main room, okay? It's just one more minute. Okay. Hi, Helen. There's everybody Hi. here. There's everybody here. Noemi, you got your microphone open. Usted tiene su micrófono abierto. So tell me, do you plan your activities in your calendar? In a calendar? No. You don't? <laughs> no, I don't. Really? No, I don't. No. Yes. Okay, just give me a second. I don't mark my events. 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 Okay, just give me a little second, please. Just give me a second, give me a second. Okay. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I think the rain is giving problems with some people with the sign out. La lluvia está afectando algunos con la señal. Okay, let's see. So you don't plan your, your, oh, you don't plan your activities in your calendar. Wow. You need. Uh, <laughs> what about you, Francisco? Do you plan your activities in a calendar? Um, algunas veces. Sometimes. Sometimes. Come on, Francisco, that's adverse of frequency. <laughs> this week we saw that. Yeah. 
You have to say, sometimes I do it. Okay, sometimes I do it. Okay. When is it that you do it? Cuando lo hace? Um, when is a, when is a work for, ¿cómo lo digo? Bueno, lo digo en español. Cuando, cuando es este trabajo de, de una segunda, de una segunda acción, digamos, ¿no? De un segundo trabajo. Okay, a second job, to me, yeah. a different, a different job, a different job. job. Uh -huh. So when you have something different from your regular activities, yeah, you plan it. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. What's your area of work in Francisco? Informatica. <laughs> oh, really? Computers. Yeah. So what do you what do you work with? Software or hardware? Software. Software. Oh, yeah. Good. Good. That's interesting. So. You don't like to work with hardware or do you, or do you just pre prefer to work with software? I don't like uh, work, to work with uh, hardware. Oh, really? Why not? Uh, uh, there is no money. There's no money? Yeah. Cool. That's nice. That's nice. So you think you do better? You do better? When yeah. I say when I say to you, you do better is you do better with software. As yes, yeah, there is. That's nice. You do better. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much, Francisco. Okay. Carlos, I know that you have a lot of activities. So tell me, Carlos, do when you plan your week. Do you get all the activities planned in a calendar? Do you schedule them? Uh, yes, <clears throat> I have a schedule for the week. Uh, every week, every every day of the week, I need to do or uh, to make one activity. Oh, really? Yes. So you have to schedule everything. And tell me, do you schedule or somebody else schedules for you? Uh, uh, the two, two cases. Some activities uh, planning my boss and some activities uh, are definite. Okay. Uh, for my, my... Your boss? Puesto. Yes, for my job. Okay, position. Position. They are defined, they are defined according to the position. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's interesting. So you have like, you have uh, some appointments that are like set on a calendar and they cannot be moved. Right. And some others, according to your position, you have to follow them. That's Sorry. interesting. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Grecia, what about you? Tell me. Hey, good evening, Pedro. Welcome. Grecia, 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 tell me. When, no, you plan, when you plan your regular activities in your job, uh, do you follow a calendar? Do you follow a calendar? Yes, do you follow a calendar for your schedule? Sigue un calendario? For your activities in your job. Para sus actividades en su trabajo. Okay, es que me costó traducir la palabra. Do you follow? Okay. Sigue. Se atiene a. Utiliza. Okay. Me puede, me puede escribir en el chat así como me lo dijo. Do you follow? Oh, perfect. No problem. No problem. Please. Yes, I am doing it right now. Do you follow a calendar for your activities, for your regular activities? Follow a calendar. Okay. Yes. Yes. I follow a calendar. Okay. Is that calendar? For activities in my job. Okay. 
is it prepared by yourself or somebody else defines your weekly activities? Different activities. Okay, what I mean is this. Do you prepare do you prepare the, the calendar or somebody else or alguna persona defines your activity? Mm, a different person. Okay. Yes. Okay, that's different person prepared calendars. Okay, that's interesting. That's what I wanted to know. Thank you very much. Please listen. In my case, I follow I follow a calendar. Okay, I follow an agenda. I need I have activities set up, but these activities, these obligations, are not set up by myself. Somebody else sets the calendar for me. Like somebody else prepares, uh, like in, in the platform, in Zoom, somebody prepares the, all the classes. So they are already scheduled when I get into the platform. All the classes are scheduled already. And I have to follow a calendar because on Wednesdays I need to have all my classes prepared for the following week. Now, and I, I set up the activities, the different activities for the class. The activity we do here, I have to set it up in a calendar. With, in my case, as I have a two hours class with you guys, I have to set it up with the precise moment, time, okay? I need to set up with the minutes. Now, it's very good that we use a calendar because it helps us to schedule all the activities. Why am I saying this? Because uh, for tomorrow, for tomorrow, I need you to, uh, I need you to, in a piece of paper if you want, write down at least five activities you do during the day with the time okay you're going to write like 8 30 8 30 a.m attend a meeting with my boss uh, 10 p 10 a.m i don't know check documents or two in the afternoon go to the airport perhaps in kind of cases so, do you understand what I want you to do for tomorrow? ¿Entendemos lo que quiero que hagan para mañana? The homework? Yes? Remember, five activities with the time. You can do it in a piece of paper and send it to me so I can check it out, okay? And after I have checked them out, y después que las haya revisado, I will set up in the platform, in the, in the section of the post for today's class, where you are going to place them. Después que se las haya revisado, en la plataforma las vamos a colocar donde van los posts. Okay? Any questions? Okay, okay. Teacher. Yes, um, Bueno, en el caso de los posts, hace un par de días que no entro a la plataforma, pero, pero no veo ninguno. First week are in already. Primera semana, sí. Second okay. week, I am going to do it between today and tomorrow. Okay? Okay. And okay. perhaps tomorrow I'm going to set up the third week already. Okay. Y al, el, um, el schedule, el schedule, schedule? Yes. Se envía al WhatsApp o a la, directamente al grupo? Al WhatsApp personal o al grupo? Whichever way you want, no problem for me. Okay. Okay? Whichever way you want. De cualquier manera que se quiera. No problem, yeah. okay? Teacher, I como, check them. Como yes. se las podemos enviar que en la mañana o en la tarde? Up to you, whenever you have the time. Okay. Okay. Teacher, sorry. 
Just repeat start. the homework. Imagine that Please. you have the, the tomorrow's calendar, okay? Five of the activities you have to perform tomorrow. Setting the time, diciendo el momento, la hora, okay? Okay. Perfect. Hey, teacher, thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. Okay, guys, now, let's see, we still have uh, another activity to do. Now we go with the conversation that appears there on your manuals. And we are going to go to the manual. Let's see. Now, short conversation, look. Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? It's on Friday, Friday the 26th. Okay, listen again. Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? It's on Friday the 26th. One more time. Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? It's on Friday the 26th. Okay, questions about the vocabulary? Consultant. Consultant. Uh, consultor. Consultor. Yep. Thank hey you. guys, you got the conversation already. We are going to practice it. These two minutes, tops, switch roles, okay? Let's see, yeah, perfect. Let's go to the room. Okay. Do you, compartir, entonces. Do you have the, 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 the conversation? Tenemos la conversación. Teacher, um, yeah, Pedro, Pedro no entiende. Okay. No tenemos cómo compartir. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm sending to the group. Actually, Javier en el grupo les mandó en PDF, en el grupo de WhatsApp les mandó en PDF eh, manual. Okay. But, but, I'm going to take a picture for you right now. This is easier. Le voy a tomar una foto para ahorita. Okay. Hold on. Uh, okay, it's right there. It's already there. Okay. Now you got it. Hey, Fausto. Porque de mal. Vaya. Dice Susan. Bueno, yo voy a hacer. Okay. Hola. Escucha. Okay, sí. Escucha. Okay. Okay. Adele, please check my agenda. Agent, what agenda? What agenda. Agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? Meeting. 
Meeting. Meeting. Meeting. Esa te pronuncia como R. Meeting. 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 The meeting. Perfect. Thank you, teacher. On Monday, November 22, 26. Yes, mister. Okay. A ver, tenemos una pequeña duda acá. Cuando yes, son ordinales, sir. recuerdo uh -huh. algo sobre que um, en primero y segundo era de esa forma. First, second. Second. Ajá, yes. pero ya después, este, las siguientes uh -huh. eran okay. como... Ok. First, normal, ¿no? second, and third. And third. Ok. Then they go with TH. Uh -huh. Luego llevan a TH, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. 15, 16, uh -huh. 18, 19... 20, pero cuando vamos con las decenas ya de arriba del 20, 20, no 20, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, pasando del, pasando del 20 solamente la decena es, es, with the edge. pero luego nos vamos con la unidad. 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 30th, 31st, 32nd, 33rd, ¿ok? I'm sorry, uh, uh, ok. Let me, let me. Is it clear now? It's yeah. on Friday, the 26th. Yeah. Yes? Okay. Sí. Sí. Finish? Ready? Yes. Yes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We are going back to the main room right now, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, Alonso, I'm sorry, but due to your situation, you are not going to do the conversation here, okay? Debido a su situación, no me va a hacer la conversación acá, okay? So don't worry, you can just listen, okay? Okay, thanks. You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. Let's see. Let's just wait for everybody to come back. Let's see who's still there. Andrea, Fausto, Mr. George, and Noemi. Well, they're gonna come back very soon, soon, soon. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see who's gonna be first. Mr. Walter and Carlos Bautista, please. Let's do it right now, the conversation. Okay. Please, let me see. Can you see it on the screen? Yes, yes. Okay. I am Adele, I am Susan. Okay. Uh, Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant on Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representatives? It's on Friday the 26th. Okay, very well done. Just remember, consultant, consultant. It's a agenda. Oh. Agenda, agenda. Agenda, agenda. And Friday, Friday. 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 Perfect. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Now let's see who's going to be next. Uh, next is going to be Grecia and Francisco. Okay. Okay. Ready, Francisco? Yeah. Okay. Francisco, please check my agenda. 
When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. At about the conference with the Mexican representatives. It is on Friday, the 26th. Okay. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect, guys. Thank you. you. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Felicita and Helen. Yeah. Okay, it's Felicita, time. you start. Yeah. Abele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? Helen? Uh, on Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? It's on, it's, it's on Friday the 26th. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. Very well done. Remember, the, the, the 26th. The, the 26th. Okay. We say D when it's before a vowel. Decimos D cuando va antes de una vocal. Okay? Okay. Now, let's see who's going to be next. Next is okay. going to be uh, Andrea, Natalie, and Pedro. Yes. Okay, Andrea, you start. Okay. Pedro, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? Pedro? Are you here? Yes. In this moment. Sorry. Uh, on Monday, November 22, 2nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? It's on Friday, the 26th. Perfect, perfect. November 22nd, Pedro. You just forgot that. Perfect. Excellent. Well done, guys. Very well done. Very well. Now, let's see. Last but not least, Caroline Fausto, please. Let's see. Uh, Fausto, you start. Okay. Um, Carla, this my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? It's on Friday the 26th. Perfect. Excellent pronunciation, guys. Very well done. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see. Now, we need to just to check something. Okay? Let me just share with you because in this case, I'm going to just, we are just going to be following. Okay? Now, here. The months of the year, please remember. Let me just meet everybody. I'm sorry because I need you just to listen. Remember, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. The days, okay, now. 
the days in the calendar remember usually this is one two three four but when we are saying a date we are going to say first second third fourth fifth sixth seven eight ninth ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteenth seventeenth eighteenth nineteenth twentieth twenty first twenty second twenty third twenty fourth twenty fifth twenty sixth twenty seventh twenty eighth twenty ninth thirtieth thirty first now guys the next activity it's going to be very very simple okay the next activity is very simple it's just one question the one that you are going to do and the question is pretty easy when is your birthday that's the question okay you're going to ask your classmate when is your birthday but you are going to be working this exercise you will need to go fast because you are going to be working in groups of four members and you are just going to have two minutes to get that information okay any question about the activity only birthday yes only that only that okay guys jump in two minutes Let's wait for everybody to connect. Let's see. Yes. My beer day is on June eighth. June. Grecia. Birthday, birthday. Princess birthday. My ber birthday. Like that. Is Perfect. Birthday. They have birthday. <laughs> it's on John 8. John 8. Yes. Felicita, le voy a dar mi fecha. Y se aceptan cat cure, cat, cat cure Eva, o gift card. Gift card. <laughs> se aceptan gift card. Felicita, okay. my, my, my birthday is in November August 21st. Leandre. January 15th. 15th, Sí, 15. Remember that you need to, you pronounce stronger that E. 15th. 15th. 15. Yes. When is your birthday, Alonso? Uh, August 21st. Oh, so it just passed. 
Andrea yeah. is January. What about you, Jorge? When is your birthday? My birthday is August uh, 19th. On August 19th. And you, Carla? My birthday is on December 10th. Oh, really? I am December the yes. 17th. Set. <laughs> yeah, very close, very close. Close on the date. Yeah. On years, no. On years, the difference is long. Hay que celebrar. I have never celebrated a birthday. Yo nunca lo he celebrado. No. And now less. Yeah, you know. <laughs> okay, guys. We go back to the main room. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. The activity, Francisco, open your microphone, please. Yeah. <laughs> because right now, you, Francisco, are going to ask all your classmates when are their birthdays, okay? Oh, okay. So you can start whoever you want. Okay, Walter, when is your birthday? <laughs> Um, um Rita I, December two December the second December the second remember birthday birthday perfect thank you Francisco continue okay. uh Felicita Good. when is your birthday my birthday is November twenty three twenty third twenty third 23rd. Hey, like my 23rd. sister. <laughs> yeah. Please, Francisco, continue. Okay, Noemi. What is your birthday? My birthday is on March 4th. March 4th. Okay, Carla, when is your birthday? Carla Maria Luz. My birthday is December 10th. December 10th. Grecia, Julissa, when is your birthday? Hi, Francisco. My birthday is Hi. on June 8th. John 8th. Yes. Okay, Carlos Bautista, when is your birthday? Hello, Francisco. My birthday is Hi. in February 25th. 25, okay. Fausto, when is your birthday? Francisco, my birthday is on April 28. Thank you. Helen Maria, when is your birthday? Helen Maria. I, my birthday is, my birthday is ours. 28. Thank you. Andrea, Natalie, when is your birthday? My birthday is on January 15th. Thank you. Pedro Antonio, when is your birthday? Pedro Antonio. Okay, Alonso Antonio, when is your birthday? My birthday is on August 21st. Thank you. Pedro Antonio, when is Hi. your birthday? My birthday is April 29th. Thank you. Jorge okay. Alexander, when is your birthday? My, my birthday is uh, August 19th. Okay, perfect. 19th. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Francisco, when is your birthday? July uh, 19th. Okay, what about your wife's birthday? When is your wife's birthday? I will say August. 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 
Perfect. Grecia, when is your husband's birthday? Thank you, Francisco, very much. Appreciate it. Grecia. Husband's birthday is... Hello? Yes, yes. Tell me. Listen to me? Yes, I can listen to you. Okay. Okay. Uh, husband's birthday is on November 29. Okay, perfect. 29. Excellent. Noemi, when is your husband's birthday? Tell me, Noemi. Oh, I cannot listen to you. My husband's birthday is on February 10th. Okay, now Noemi, tell me, when's your anniversary? In my... my Come on, uh, Noemi. <laughs> we are anniversaries on May 4th. May, May. May 4th. Okay, okay, perfect, perfect. Let's see, let's see. Uh, Fausto, you married or single? Single. Single. Okay, tell me, Fausto, when is your mom's birthday? Uh, my mom's birthday is, is uh, on September 4th. Okay, thank you very much. Walter, tell me, when is your anniversary? August 4th. Wow, he remembers fast. That's nice. Congratulations, man. I don't okay. I never remember. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see, let's see. Jorge. Hello, Jorge. Hello. You married or single, Jorge? Single. Okay, tell me when is your when is your mom's birthday? Uh, <laughs> uh, is uh, March nineteen. Perfect. Thank you, Carlos. Hello, Carlos. Hello. You're married, right? Yes. When's your anniversary, Carlos? It's in, on, the, on December. Uh, 28. Wow. Yes. So you got two festivities, two celebrations, <laughs> your anniversary and the end of the year. Nice. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's a nice trick. Un buen truco ese. Yeah. He saves just one celebration and that's it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So if you see when we are saying the dates, it's very simple. We say it's on. You don't need to say my anniversary, my mom's birthday, because the person who asked already said it. Como la persona que pregunta, ya lo dijo, no necesita decirlo usted. You can just say it's on, okay? When you answer, say it's on, and you give the date. Like, uh, let's see, let's see, like uh, Carla Marielos, ask me for my birthday, please. When is your birthday? Oh, it's on December 17th. You see? I don't need to say my birthday is on because the other person, the one who asked, is already saying it. So I don't need to emphasize that. Unless, unless I really want to emphasize, I repeat it. If not, I just say it's on. Okay? Solo okay. si necesito enfatizar lo menciono otherwise i just say it's on right now guys something that uh, we didn't in the class and we needed to this look remember expressions to state urgency it's very important i really need okay when we use this expression 
we are stating urgency, right? We're talking about something that is very, very mandatory. Something that is like unavoidable. Mm. This word is, hold on. Something that is unavoidable. Look at the chat. I texted the word for you. Something that is unavoidable. How do I say this in Spanish? Hold on. Inevitable? Yeah. That's unavoidable. Right? So when we say it's very, I really need to, we are saying that that activity, that action is very, very urgent. Okay? It's very important. Now, something that I would like you to remember and to review from this week's topics, from this unit's topics, because we are finishing unit number two. Uh, something that I really like you to remember, let me see, I had it ready right here, yeah. Is this. Remember when we talk about the Alberts of frequency? Hold on, give me just a second. Remember, when we talk about the Alberts of frequency, remember, they go before all verbs except B, okay? She always plays tennis in the morning. They usually have lunch at work, okay? And remember that Alberts of frequency go after the verb to be, after is, are, or am. She is always late for work. So what I want you to remember is this, that the albert, if we are talking about is, are, or am, goes after, you see? Subject, the verb to be, the albert of frequency. But with the rest of the verb, with all the verbs, with this exception, with the exception of the verb be, the rule, applies differently. We have the albero frequency before, okay? This is something that we need to really, really, really remember in practice. I know that it is not easy, but try to follow these rules all the time. They will help us. And remember, the only exception to the rules is the, is the albero sometimes, because sometimes can be at the beginning. If you remember, I was texting you some examples and I texted you uh, like, uh, sometimes I, let's see, what could I say? Sometimes I have to, to go to church. I go to church sometimes. I sometimes go to church, you see? With sometimes, we use it different. It can be according to the rule, it can be before the whole sentence, or it could be at the end of the sentence. Sometimes it's the only exception, the only one, okay? Something similar happened to this word that we were working with today. Do you remember when I told you already? I did it already, I already did it. You remember? So remember, when it comes to the adverbs of frequency, remember the adverbs of frequency, they go always, all the time. Hold on. All the time, the adverbs of frequency go before all the verbs, before antes. Like, uh, let's see, like Francisco always works with computers, right? Francisco never works with uh, hardware. You see? We have Francisco always. Francisco never, and then the verb, okay? If it is the verb be, it's the other way around, right? Like, 
I am always, I am always sleepy. Siempre tengo sueño. I am always sleepy. I, subject, am, the verb be, and then the adverb. I am always. In this case, you see it's different. We change the order. The verb be is the only exception. Now, is there any question, guys? No? Okay. Let me congratulate you. Today we were working with a lot of, a lot of the, many of the exercises were about speaking and I could see that most of you were speaking in English in the groups. That's excellent. And that's the main objective, to use the English, okay? Thank you very much. I expect to see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Have a good night. Have a good night. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Good see you. Night. Bye. Bye. God bless you. Bye. Thanks. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.